Hello guys, welcome to my Wayward Review and Comparison video. This game here, um, is, um, called BLK. Ah! Sorry, it's kinda hard to work with. Okay, here we are. And this is kind of a clone of Minecraft Creative. I just want to use it to show the building in Minecraft. So here we are building something. And like there are windows, so if we want to see outside, we can. And I'm... Um, this is the kind of house nobody wants. It's just one made of dirt, and two, it only has one wall up. And sorry, it's just kind of glitchy. And then... Bye. And then there's glass, so you can make windows. And whee! And then you can actually see through to what's behind it. And another thing... I wish that you could disable flying, um, escape, so I can click settings, a rob site, for some reason, um, save, I guess, full screen, oop, where's my, and you, and this is, of course, something GitHub, it's just based off Voxel, and then, say, here, we'll make a actual wood one now, a proper house. Now this game is kind of this little project. It's not really a game yet, but it's kind of buggy, so you can't remove blocks. I don't believe you might be able to right. Oh, you can right click to remove blocks. Okay. So like a. Help if I escape, help. Remove black, right click, um, mm -hmm. Okay. Enter. So it's right clicking to remove a black. So we'll just move you and you. And up. And up. And I'll put some dirt there. So yeah, Minecraft, you have this great 3D aspect, which I'm not saying Wayward should add, but I'm saying that it gives you a really nice plate for building, a really nice, um, mining aspect, and a really nice... Um, just moddable system. And you, again, have, like, your see-through glass. Which is always nice. And then you have your colored blocks, or an Minecraft case wool colored wool now in survival of course colored wool is hard wool is hard to get without dying however it illustrates my point greatly in that you can really customize your home especially in creative or on a server where there's a lot more resources I could make a blue home in Minecraft if I wanted to. And I can make we just oh yeah you can. Ah. If I got Minecraft then I would really have to get used to this control thing. But yeah, and you can build these huge beacons. And let's look at the map in this, because the map is also a big part. Now, as I get further, it's kind of fading, because 
of sight, but you can see it's all diverse with hills and unless it's um of course just grass, but in Minecraft survival it wouldn't be just grass. It would actually be stuff. But yeah, people say that, w but mainly the thing that I'm trying to illustrate here is that Wayward needs a kind of sandbox mode where you have as many walls as you want or as many things as you want. <laughs> or a, um... Yeah, sandbox mode, and I've heard, and like, there is a JavaScript bit that you can run in the address bar on the JavaScript console for Wayward that gives you, um, a sandbox kind of mode, but it is, I tried it once, what it does is it gives you, is it changes your health to 9,099? And it changes your, um, stamina to that. It changes your hunger to that and fills it up. And I have, and that was before Thirst was implemented, but that was made available by draft. So yeah, a big feature that a lot of people think Wayward is missing is, um, a sandbox mode. If I go to Wayward, then the only thing is survival mode. Another thing that I was going to compare it to is Minecraft. Which is a, um, yes. Which is a, <coughs> and this was recommended by Draft for me to try. Minecraft was developed by Notch, creator of Minecraft, during the 22nd London Derek. Minecraft is a Zelda-like take on Minecraft, allowing people to do a lot of what they remember with Minecraft, but with the goal of killing the Air Wizard. So click to focus. So I'm just gonna start. Yeah, created by Marcus Notch. Person. Um, I tried it, and I know how to play. As you can see, move around like Minecraft. I have generated a new world a few times. It's not the same every time. Hey, zombie. That's like stone. And so, like... Here, let me just chop down a tree. And chop down another tree. And I'll, and I'll show you how you make something. You spawn with a workbench in your inventory. And then to use it, you go up to it. And you can just choose. And then I'm going to make a stone... Okay, this gray kind of a thing means that you can't make it, so... <laughs> Basically what I'm doing is it's seed a punch. X to open your inventory or look at the... Um... What does it take to make a rock thing? A rock pick. More rock, okay. And at the bottom here you have your energy, and that's your health. There we go, a rock pick. And pressing C makes it, and now here's my inventory. Whoops, um, C. And then I'm using my rock pick. to mine stone
And then to be truthful, I haven't played this enough to know. Oop. Oop. Um, I'll be right back. Um, I just got an email from a friend. Okay, hi, I'm back and ah, uh, zombie. She, 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 she. Ah, she, 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 she. Oh no, I have one health left. Left. Ah, uh, how do you regenerate health? Oh no. Oh, and I can't. Ah, no slime. Ah, uh, how do you regenerate health? Please. Uh, oh. See. So yeah, I just want to kind of get a little f bit further in this time. Oh, oh thick forest. Oops, get wood. Bye bye. Zombie's dead, and I'm okay. So, you know, just out of curiosity, can I like um build a house or a protected place out of wood or something if I can get to a clear area because it was developed by Nat he wanted to yeah, get make a minecraft like game where the goal was to uh, defeat a enemy yeah. I think it's described as a Zelda like minecraft game that notch made. Chop down trees. Um, X. C. No, now if I press that. No. Or C. No. Workbench. Shut down. X. I'll make a wood sword. A wooden pick. And a wooden axe. Because right now the most important thing is probably to be able to collect resources. Ooh. And to fight off enemies. Ooh. Um, actually... Wood sword. See. Zombie, where are you? Oh well, he's gone. Wood pick. Um, she. Now even now it takes kind of forever to get through stone. So you want to get a stone pick as fast as possible, it seems. Oh, I'm using a wood sword, first of all. I shouldn't be doing that. Oh, much better. Plowing through it now. Let's look at our workbench. What do I want to get? Um, I want to get, um, a rock sword. So I need 12 rock and 5 wood. X. Oh, wow, that gets through it fast. Oh, no. So Minecraft, well, it's not exactly a survival game, it's more of an RPG. The reason I'm doing this Minecraft thing is because Draft actually recommended it for this. Rock sword. Hmm. 
Let's see how this does against stuff. Oop. Oh, where's the sword? Where's my sword? She, she. Oh, that killed a slime one hit. Now, can you make, like, armor or not? Looking at my workbench. Don't see any armor. So, this is like a crafting table. So, no, I wanna kind of. Um. Figure. Just out of curiosity. No. I was wondering because Wayward supports. Is this a lie? Yeah, I didn't know you would be here. Should probably have that equipped. Okay, now where's this air wizard that I'm supposed to kill? That is what I'm wondering. What is this that I'm getting cloth I'm getting from the zombies? See? X. See? That's my only question right now is where is this air wizard? Oh my X. Now I need to get out. Okay, oop, there's a desert, is it? Nah, I don't want to be involved with zombies. Yeah, where would this air wizard be is my biggest question. Does he have like a castle somewhere, or what? Because so far, oh no. I like since it's supposed to have a... Minecraft elements to see in the never? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding, there's probably no never in the oh. Okay, I think that we are done with that. Here we are, this is Wayward, um and that is not the purpose of this, so now I'm going to Oh, for heaven's sake. Optical disc. I don't care. The move, the move. That is so annoying. So I have an MS DOS virtual machine here, and I'm gonna switch to full screen. And we are going to compare Wayward to a DOS game. Wilderness, a survival adventure. First journey. This is of course text based, but I and I don't have a manual because I just downloaded it. It's not like I bought an old DOS game. So I'm but I do know some basic commands. Look left. Look left. I'm just gonna look all around. Um I'm gonna walk for one hour. Look Ooh. Pick up nuts. Take nuts. Pack nuts. Ten. Look back. Walk. One. Eighteen minutes. Here's the plane. Pack sleeping bag. View, no, not view, inventory. And I don't have a proper keyboard driver on this, so don't be surprised if I get some stuff wrong all the time. Um, um I'm in the same, I'm in, where's the Sierra Nevada? 
I'm thinking about shutting down. I'm thinking, what all am I wearing? Cotton. Wear. So I'm wearing wool pants, wool socks, wool sweater. I think that I don't see what I can put down. I don't want to. Um, I'll put down the baloney because drop. I think it is baloney. All sixteen. Use the arrow keys. Oh, here we go. Much more stuff. Oh, glitch. Tons of sunscreen. Here we go. Game trap. Oh, I want a tail. Stupid glitch. Um, I want to take the um pack raft. Darn it. Pack sleeping bag. Oh, what can I draw? This is such an annoying bug. What else can I get rid of? Mm. <sighs> Drop sunglasses. Pack sleeping bag. Is there like a, is there a tent in here? Because I'll feel better if there's a tent. Uh, okay, I'm... Boom. Matches. First aid. Fuel. Sunglasses I put down. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, um, okay, I seem to have... Everything that I want except for the sleeping bag. Look back. Just turning around. Walk. One. Sixty-one minutes. Look. Left. Look. So now what I'm playing this. I'm trying to remember this is a DOS game, even though I'm preparing it to w and comparing it to Wayward just because this seems to be a ver this is a very good survival game if you know all the commands. Walk one. You have entered forest terrain. Walk left. Set up camp. One. You're now safely inside shelter. Sleep. Three. I'm sweating. Pack. Inventory. Um. Hmm. Use water. Water. Drink. Water. I'll drink 16 ounces. Or two gallons. Fuel. Um. Hat camp. One. Um. Pack tent. Walk. Four. Three. Look. You. Uh, okay. Walk. For one. You have discovered all the notes of one. So basically. Yes. Okay, so the point of that was to compare a survival game to a survival game. Wayward is, I have to say, the best out of all those three. Mainly, yeah, that's because I'm recording Windows. Mainly because, sorry, I just want to... Mainly because it is... Just okay. Um, I save this manually, so I'm actually going to main menu and current game. I am sure that the let's play game is saved, but I'm so reluctant to um 
So yeah, you can't. In Wayward, there's that whole thirst aspect and the hunger aspect, and in Minecraft you have the hunger aspect, but there's no thirst as aspect. In Minecraft, the only aspects you have are health and stamina, which Wayward has always had health, stamina, and originally it was mana instead of er brain power or something instead of hunger, but that was quickly that, that was shortly removed and replaced with hunger. Yeah, way where you can just walk around and you know, you can run, you can hunt, you can craft stuff, you can build houses. It's um and people have said this, I have never tried Minecraft, so I'm so this may be wrong, but it is a 2D Minecraft. It's 2D vanilla Minecraft. Oh, and in Wayward, compared to Minecraft, you have the added fires. Um, you have the different types of stone. You have sandstone. You have this. And you have the natural cave apart. And you can, and I know I shouldn't be doing this since this is my last play save, but they can't, but it won't be hard to catch them up. You have this nice cave system where you don't actually dig the caves. You just wander around and get the minerals. That is, that could be considered better or it could be considered worse than Minecraft. And now I'm comparing it to Minecraft and reviewing it. I'm just going to reopen up that mini craft. Run. Go, 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 go. Yep. Run. And, uh, and then mini craft. It's more of a, um, RPG. Wayward is a traditional rude like RPG. Well, it's not a traditional, it just is one. But this, it's more of a, you explore, and you find a enemy, and you defeat the enemy. Sort of thing. Even though I don't have no idea what the heck the enemy is. And this seems, this, I have to say, isn't as good as Minecraft or wayward because it is just um terrible you don't have much that you can craft and you know i'm probably playing it wrong, wrong by not making a furnace and not doing much stuff but it's meant to be more zelda like i know but my point isn't that if it were if you played it for a long time it, you could understand it. My point is that it's hard to understand as a new player, which I am. I mean, I get the gist of it, but that's because I get the gist of Minecraft. It's similar to Minecraft in the effect that to the effect that I get the gist of it, but I have no idea what to do. And like just, I need tons of stuff. And like to get the wood axe, okay, I need more wood. But the stupid thing about it is, I'll show you when I get back to the Oh, well, I died, but the stupid thing is, and this is just to demonstrate the stupid thing about the workbench. Look at this. How much do I have? Zero wood. And, it, and look at this. The five that I need is on this side, and the zero that I have is on this side. That just looks terrible. How do you how do you normally like write fra fractions? You write them like this: four fifth fifths. And, I'm, and my computer came with 
Microsoft Office Starter, so I'm just gonna show you it in a better way. The Minecraft or Minecraft. Sorry, this is hard to say because I've been talking about Minecraft. I've been talking about Minecraft. I've been talking about Wayward. Yeah, it's hard. <coughs> <laughs> so it's not loading, but this says that I have that I need five that I have five wood, which I have zero, and I need zero to craft a wooden axe. What? That makes no sense. Why would it ever be like that? It says this, and it's and people understand it, and but you have to realize. Oh wait, that. It's actually this. It's not this. It's this. And that is just confusing, and I don't get why that's there. Okay, now, wayward review and, um, feature requests. That's it. Don't want to mess up my Let's Play save anymore. Um, so, um, uh, Wayward is a great survival game, as is. It is the best I have ever found. Like, um, one day I was just kind of bored and I wanted a wilderness survival game. I look up wilderness survival game, and I'll actually show you what came up. Wilderness survival game. This wilderness thing. It's not much. The first thing I found was Wilderness, a survival adventure, which is that DOS game I showed you. Are there any? Um, yeah. Man vs. Wild. Minecraft. Uncharted. Survival Kids. Um, mostly all console games. Um,. What you might call it, Oregon Trail, Slender, which is, you know, not anything like that. That's a zombie survival game. And finally, I found this. There's a browser game called Wayward. It's still in alpha, but it might be up your alley. This was back in alpha 1.4. And eventually I f and yes, that's how I came to find Wayward. But look at this. Um survival skills quiz. Um and like I actually started with survival games. Minecraft survival games, Minecraft automated hunger games. Minecraft, 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 Minecraft. All it says is Minecraft, which I obviously don't own. And of course, it's a couple console games. This is really the only browser game that is a survival game. There, and rec and that is my review. It is the only survival game that you can that is online and is free. Um. So congratulations to Draft for that. It's just amazing. Secondly, you have, and I'm reviewing this off this version. You have the aspect of thirst, which you don't have in any other games. You have the aspect in hunger, which you do have in most games, but usually it's only as a regeneration of health thing. You eat, and then you regenerate health. That's how it was in older versions of Minecraft. That's not how it is anymore. That's how it is in a lot of games. Windows, stop it. I hate those. Stop it. It's fine. You have the 
um, integration of a skill set that most rude like RPGs, well, they are somewhat survival games. They don't. They have a class system where it's kind of a set out game plan for you. Wayward has this wonderful skills system which lets you um, go and try and do what you want. Like there's um, the mycology and the botany skills if you want to plant stuff. There's the fletching and bowcraft if you want to be an archer. You know, there's all this different stuff that you can do. The building aspect of Wayward is okay. I don't think that it's quite um amazing yet in building, but it'll get there as there are more and more building walls. Um the generation aspect, the world generation. A requested feature for a long time has been an insured amount of every resource in your map. Weird blog. And this is going to take forever for me to get down to, but because it was a really old post, but I'll find it. And this was, okay, here we are, world building. This was, of course, before the beta. This was, um, yeah, so this is basically a thing about world building. Now we're looking at some inspiration here. Dwarf Fortress was the first one. Now, in Dwarf Fortress, he says, there are tons of biomes. You have these purple biomes, you have these mountainous biomes, you have a tundra biome, I think that is, you have a desert biome, and I have to look at more, uh, I have to look at, um, a bigger thing of it. Then there's Ultima Radio Regium, this, it looks like a, he says it's a larger, or a nicer, more biome-realistic version of Dwarf Fortress. Then, Minecraft! Which he thinks... Um... It has the nicest world integration out there, especially for what it seems. Creative sense of goodness. Well, not being too caught up in the realism. Creating a full world instead of just islands have guaranteed div environment diversity and biomes. Swamps, tundras, forests, jungles, deserts. The world is the world. No swimming off to another part or traveling away. This big world is yours. And it's yours for good. Out of beige, as of beta 1.0. So that was one map in beta 1.0. It's just this big one single island with mountain in this example and then a couple smaller ones but you're best in that big one then here's this sandstone desert one no stone except for a tiny dot right there right oh I need a little laser pointer right in that Smaller island, there's a, there's a couple trees there, and then there's a tiny data stone that's only taking up like three pixels on my display. This is a, this is one of the best maps out there. It's diverse, it has a lot of smaller islands instead of one huge one and then two or three smaller ones. And it has all, and it has a good amount of all resources. This is another okay one. But it's still not amazing. Like there's the desert. It just it's mostly desert with a few stone branch off islands that you can get to easily. That is by far one of the best ones, but still 
that is the best world I've seen other than one time where I generated a world in a game where I'm on this huge island just this this middle part is my whole island it's huge and then one side of it is stone forest you know all good stuff and then a little sliver of it is sandstone and desert and then the rest is mostly more desert um with trees littered in it so yeah that's the best world i've ever seen and like this has been planned since beta 1.0 it still hasn't been implemented draft. You kind of need to get working on that. Third th er, last th thing is the um, amount of things you can make tools out of. Currently, there are two things. Stone and iron. I think uh, I'm going to use Minecraft in a, as an example here because Minecraft is so popular. Minecraft has wood, stone, iron, diamond, and with mods, and I'm just going to use equivalent exchange as an example because that's the one that I know the most about. You have dark matter and red matter, and it's just really good. Oh, and for armor, you in Wayward, you have leather, bark, and iron. So that has a little more variety than tools, but Minecraft, what does it have? And again, I'm using the equivalent exchange mod. Um, wood, stone, leather, iron, diamond, dark matter, red matter, gem. It's just, you really need to catch up. Modability, that's a big one. Because that's why Minecraft is so popular. Because it is written in Java, a widely known lang language, and it has support for mods. Yes, you, yes, to my knowledge, you still have to um, hack Minecraft and decompile it to make mods, but <coughs> it still supports loading mods. And that's the point here, that it supports loading mods. And and has ease of building mods. Now I said this in my last Let's Play episode too, because I was planning on mixing that in this, but then I decided not to because I got a dr email from Draft in the middle of it. But so, sorry, been talking fast here. But yeah, Wayward needs a lot more variety and resources, and it need and Draft needs to shut up. Windows. Not draft needs to shut up. Draft needs to make this moddable. Oh, whoops! I meant to press F12 because I look at the JavaScript and I see this big, you know, huge line of stuff that I can't understand. I know JavaScript, and I can't understand this. And even once I get to stuff that isn't, that's more items. Well, this is more of the game, but there's also, if I go to resources, go to this, scripts. And, um, this is written in jQuery. I do not know jQuery, but I do partially know it, I guess. But, so, yeah, it has all these JavaScript files that are hard to understand. And, sorry, I'm getting a th sore throat from all this talking now, so... Forgive me if I start, um, sounding odd. But, so, Draft needs to make the code more organized so that it gives developers ease of modding because the only mod currently that has been made by somebody who was not draft if I go to wayward mods save or load from file 
works on 1.4 plus and it's been on since beta 1.0 when modding was added. This is the inspiration for modding. Um, and by Vaughn or Draft, which is a fix for an older version. So it needs to have better modability because otherwise people will try to make mods and then give up because they can't figure out the code. Okay, thank you for what, and that is probably the end of this. Sorry about that little outburst. Um, I thought that that would sound good, but then halfway through I decided it sounded terrible. <sighs> but yeah, so I will see you in my next Let's Play. Hope that you enjoyed this little review. Giraffe, your dr thanks to Giraffe for making Wayward, and he actually asked if I could do this. I said sure. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in my next video, and goodbye!